So we're back out here. We're in laravel.com slash doc slash 5.5. First of all, uh, for just for the purpose of this video, I want to actually install 5.6. So you click here, click on 5.6, keep your eye here. You see that this has changed to 5.6. So we're going to move ahead with 5.6 so that if we get to a place we need to switch to 5.5 or anything, we'll do that together. All right. So start with 5.6. And then uh, there is Laravel. You have you have to install Composer because Laravel installs with Composer. You right click, open. I've already installed it in my system, so I'm just gonna walk you through how to install it, uh, so that yours will work very well. And when you visit Composer, you want to click on Download. And if you're using a Windows system like me, the the download is simple. Just click on Composer Setup. It will download, install it, and that's all. You never need to, you never have to see it again. All right. And of course, you may want to restart your system after installing this. Uh, but if you're using other types of systems like Linux and and um, Mac, Mac, you have to read down so that you can see the how to install for other types of uh, systems. All right. So for 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 you that is using Windows, for me, this is just what I downloaded. Now we have Composer installed. We can now start installing Laravel. So there are two ways to install Laravel. You can using Composer. You can just run this. Or, or if you're using Mac, you, you want to read this. If you're using Mac or Linux, you want to read this section. So you'll see how it's done with Mac or Linux. In my own case, I'm using uh, Windows. So we're going to jump to this point. Um, and this is the simplest way. You can use this in Mac too. You understand? This works perfectly in Mac. So we're going to just copy this. Make sure you're on the internet. You're connected to the internet. And uh, w once we copy this, we're going to go to the folder. I just want to remind you that we we open the folder here, www directory. This is the folder we're working with. So I'm gonna go to an empty space in this folder, then hold my shift key. I'm holding the shift key on my keyboard, then I right click on an empty space. It pulls up a context menu that has this. So if I don't hold my shift key and right click, I wouldn't see that option. You see? So I hold my shift key, right click, and I see open window open command window here so I click on it so this is what I'm looking for so I'm going to have to right click to paste if you right click on this command window it pastes right click so it has pasted what we copied so this last um, word here is the name of the what we are going to call the folder see all these folders have names you see so we're going to have to call it something and I want to call this uh, what do we call it now voting nomination Nomination app, voting nomination, voting uh, nomination. The name you call the folder doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, so once you have this, you click enter. Make sure you're connected to the internet, and depending on the speed of your internet connectivity, this will take between a few seconds to few minutes. You understand? So uh, make sure you're connected to the internet. Then go chill and watch it. Go take a coffee. And take a walk by the time you're back uh, this would have installed Laravel into your uh, folder all right so for me I'm just gonna pause this video and come back when it has finished install it so my installation is done as you can see a whole lot of things were installed a whole lot of things so I'm just gonna show you the folder here we called it a voting nomination app as you can see it has been installed if we open it we can see a whole lot of things has been installed all right, so we're going to see in the next video so that uh, we'll continue the setup of this Laravel application. Thank you very much. See you.